Hi, I'm Neil Evans with the Harkin Tech Team. We're here in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, aboard a Tartan 4000 to talk about Harkin radial electric winches. One thing we hear repeatedly at boat shows like the Annapolis Boat Show is that powered winches are life-changing. Most people start off with no powered winches or one powered winch, as in the case with this boat. In this case, the owner has chosen to upgrade his primaries and his secondary winches to electrical winches. Let's talk about some of the reasons people want to electrify winches. It could be something as simple as you bought the boat and your crew has moved off to college and now you're short, sailing shorthanded and you want to simplify your things. It could be that you're getting older in age and you want to stay in your boat as long as possible and this is a way to simplify that and make that possible. It could be a, a young family with young kids and they want to simplify and make things safer and more convenient for everybody to enjoy sailing. With Harkin radial electric winches, there's no such thing as too much boat. The upgrades are simple to do. The hardest part is generally pulling the wire. What most people fail to realize is the Harkin manual radial winches were designed from the start to be upgradable to electrics. So electrifying a Harkin radial winch isn't all that complicated. It just requires some time and some patience and some basic understanding. Basically what's involved is removing the winch from the deck, drilling an access hole for the motor and the gearbox to be able to allow to be bolted to the bottom of the winch. Pulling the cables can be a little bit tedious because you don't want to ruin the interior of your boat and you want them to maintain the look. Um, you also have to mount the circuit breaker in the control box. Those can be mounted at different locations throughout the boat wherever it's convenient and you have room. Um, you also have to make sure that you have room for the winch below deck so that you're not putting it into a place where it's going to be a hazard to someone's head or to some other system on the boat. To, to help with finding room for the motor in the gearbox below, there are two options. There's both the vertical motor where it runs straight down and there's a horizontal mounted motor which saves you room down but takes up room in the, the length. This boat went with horizontal motors as there's room inside this combing wall for the horizontal motors and you don't lose much vertical room below then. Let's focus on the Harkin digital switches here for one moment. They're designed to be simple to install from the fact you only have to drill one hole in the deck to feed the wires through to the fact they come with a watertight gasket from the factory on them. They're designed to plug directly into the Harkin control box that comes with the, the radial winch. They come in different configurations from as this model with the one and the two to arrowed versions as well. They also can be lit at night so that they're easy to sail with in the evening. So let's just run through the scenario of attack here. Um, What's really nice about this setup too is when they were when the, this owner was doing the upgrade, he installed the buttons at the helm station, which you can install buttons wherever you want in the boat. In this case, this makes a lot of sense. So if we were tacking over, we would use the first speed to get the sheet in as fast as we could through the tack. Once we start to harden up, switch to the lower gear, more power, and we finish the trim through the tack. So one of the scenarios we hear all the time when people are talking about electrifying their winches is that they plan on sailing shorthanded or cruising shorthanded. Well in this scenario and with this type of upgrade where they put the buttons at the helm, this makes this real easy. You know, if I was to push the helm over, the other person could be on the other side of the boat breaking the jib and the main loose and then I would just simply have to push a button over here to harden them up as we finish through the tack. One thing that's real nice too about the Harkin electric radial winches is that say you're racing and you're not allowed to use your electric functions. The handle just simply plugs into the top and now you're back to a standard manual radial winch. Also one nice feature about that is with the electric two-speed radial winches is once the handle is in top, it disengages the motor. The motor will spin, but the handle will not turn. This prevents accidents of a handle spinning around and knocking out your loved one. Let's talk for a second about maintenance on electric winch. This is a common question too. Does this change how I have to maintain this winch? In all reality, no. Um, 
it's still a Harkin manual winch on the top. So it's still the manual radial winch you started off with. So if you were to take this off, the only difference you'd see is the disconnect rod really in the center of it that would make, make it look any different than your standard radial winch, two-speed winch. Um, the only thing that really comes in in addition is that you have to check the seal at the base of the winch where the center shaft goes through just to make sure that you're not getting water into your boat. For more information, check out the other Tech Team videos regarding servicing your radial winches. Electrifying your winches will greatly increase the ability to use your boat and make your boat more user friendly. It will also increase in your enjoyment of sailing by simplifying it.